Hello, 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 people. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, Today, I am going to show you guys how to make the famous custom fountains. Um, what you would need to do these fountains are um, vinyl sticker paper. You can do matte or you can do gloss. I got these from YouTube. They are, I meant, I got these from YouTube. I got these from Amazon. They are $10 each. I believe it's 30 sheets in here for $10, which is not bad. So you would need vinyl sticker paper, water resistant vinyl sticker paper. Of course, you would need a fountain. Five and below, $5.55. And you would need some scissors. Now, first, I am going to share my screen with you guys. I've already created my design. I'm just going to share my screen with you guys for sizing purposes so that you can know the sizes that you would need. So if you wanted to create a, um, a design for the top, the middle and the bottom of the fountain. I can show you the dimensions that you will create your design in. And what I mean by the top, the middle and the bottom of the fountain. I am specifically talking about, pull it out so I can show you guys real quick. If you wanna create a design for here, here and along here. I am going to show you the dimensions um, to create your design in. I use Photoshop to create my designs. And um, yeah, let's get started, guys. I want to share my screen with you really quick to show you the dimensions. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this design here, you see, will be for this part, which I actually call the base of the water fountain. I created this design in five inches in width and 3.75 inches in the height. So um, that, is the si that is the size I set my canvas for in the beginning of my Photoshop. This part here is for the bottom of the fountain. So this here is created in 11.25 inches and 1.5 in height. 11.25 will give you a coverage all the way around the front and the side, not the back. It's up to you if you want to do the back, but the on and off switches on the back, I wouldn't do the back personally. I wouldn't do it. So that is my dimensions for that part. Then, of course, I have my top of my fountain. Now, this is created in 6.5 inches in the width and 0 0.75 inches in the height. So this will give me a coverage all the way around from the side all the way around. So that's that for that. That is my dimension for my fountain. Um, once again, like I said, I use Photoshop when creating my designs. So um, now we're going to go ahead and get started with the printout. Now for this particular fountain, I am going to use the gloss, my gloss vinyl paper, sticker paper for this. Which, I, like I said, I got it off of Amazon. 10 bucks, you get 30 sheets. And you will need two sheets of sticker paper to create this design. Why you need two sheets? Because your 11.25 by 1.5 has to go diagonally across the sticker sheet. Because your sticker, if you have bigger sticker paper, by all means, use it but I have 8.5 by 11. So I am going to put this 11.25 by 1.5. I'm gonna stop sharing for a second. 
I am going to put it this way on the paper so that I can get the full printout of the sticker. If you put it this way, of course, the sheet is only 11 inches in height. So you won't get the full printout. And our design is 11.25 inches. So I am going to go back and share my screen with you guys. That is the reason that I um you would need two uh, sheets of paper, sticker paper. And then, of course, this one, as well as this one could go on one sheet of paper. So now I am going to show you guys how I print. Now, when I print, I print from my, I print from Silhouette. I'm trying to find a screen so I can share it with you guys. I print from Silhouette. Now, I am going to add a new, I am going to search my stickers and bring them in from Silhouette. So I go to file here. And once I search my stickers, okay, here's one. Of course, with Silhouette, you have to bring it in one at a time. So that's one. Here. Two. Now remember, it's three different files. three now like i said for the top and the base of the fountain you can print that on one sheet of paper so this is my base so i'm going to hit i'm going to highlight it and hit command c bring it over to the page where the base is and hit command v because i am using the mac and paste it now my width and my height is already set as you can see, and I'm just going to adjust that a little bit because my height um, seems to come down, what, a few points. So I'm going to make it 3.75, but I'll show you how to do that, change that in a second. To move myself out the way. First, I am going to go over here. I can see that my print page is 13 by 19. I'm going to make it 8.5 by 11. And then I'm going to go over here to the print settings and set it up for 8.5 by 11. Okay. I'm going to highlight this and change that because I want it to be exactly 3.5 by 7. 3.75, I'm sorry. And I want this one to be exactly 3. Make sure that didn't change. And I want this one to be exactly seven, 0 0.75. So we're not going to mirror it because we don't want it to print out backwards because we're not doing sublimation. It's a sticker. So you're just going to print it out facing forward the right way. So I have it lined up the way I want it to print on my page. I'm going to stick my paper in my printer. I am using equal solvent, by the way. I'm going to go over here to print. Okay, I'm going to print this out, guys. Give me a second. Okay, once again, while that prints out, you can go to five and below, five dollars, get these for five dollars. That's where I get mine from, five and below. 
uh, the vinyl sticker paper, make sure it's water resistance or whatever kind you decide to use. You can get it from Amazon. I get mine from Amazon for 10 bucks. And I sell my fountains for 35 bucks. Um, my laptop has shut down on me, guys, but um, here's the rest of that video. So I went on and printed out the 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 bottom of the fountain for this this picture for the bottom. Um, as you can see, I lined it up diagonally on the paper. Let me go and share that screen and show you guys how I did that. Um, what I did was I just basically, once you in, well, I print from Silhouette again. Once you're in Silhouette, you click on the, on the image, these dots will pop up and then this handle will pop up. And I just basically turned it by the handle and put it in paper like this so that I can get the full print out of the 11.25 and 1.5 in the um, height. So that is what I did um, to get that print out. So now that I have everything printed out, I have the base, I have the top, and then I have the bottom. Um, like I said, you will use two sheets of uh, paper if you're using 8.5 by 11 um, to print your images. If you have bigger sticker paper, by all means, but make sure it's water resistant because this is a water fountain. So I am going to basically now show you guys how to put the stickers on in a quick and easy way. So I'm going to cut the sticker out to a nice smooth cut. I don't want any of the sticker paper showing at all. So I am going to do that. Um, these scissors that I am using, I purchased them from Michael's um, when I had my rewards and I used my rewards to purchase some scissors, some really good scissors because I do make tutus as well and ruffle socks. So I needed really good scissors to cut the fabric. So I um purchased these scissors, but I, I recommend that you get really good cutting scissors because these are really good. Like they give me a perfect cut every time so i recommend you find some really good scissors when you're cutting or if you have a cutting board you can definitely use that i have a cutting board but i like to do like small things like this using the scissors so there you have it that's the base what i call the base of the fountain i want to cut out the top part Like I said, you can find this uh the sticker paper on Amazon. Um, right now they have the Prime Days going on. Today is the last day, I believe, for Prime Day. So um, if you're watching this video today, you might get it on sale. If you go on here today, you may find a sticker paper on sale. But I purchased the fountains from Five and Below. I actually went to Five and Below website and put them in a cart and pay for them and then went and picked them up. Making these fountains are so easy. It's a easy, a easy, uh, it's a quick, I sell mine for $35. I can sell them for more, but I choose not to because I don't want to be over, knock everybody over the head. So now I am going to cut out the bottom. I have my base, I have the top, and now I'm going to cut out the bottom. But I recommend that you price your fountains in your neighborhood or, I mean, well, in your area because I know a lot of crafters are making these fountains. They are a hot commodity right now. Um, so I suggest you price them so you won't price yours too high. And then people be like, oh, well, such and such so for cheaper, you know. And then some people just decorate the base and the top of the fountain. 
me personally, I like the whole thing decorated because it looks really nice when it's all decorated, covered. And a lot of people are like, how do you make them? And it's funny because when I seen it, I instantly knew how to make it. I didn't watch nobody's tutorial, no video or anything. I just went and bought a fountain and I said, I'm going to try this. And I made it. Okay. Now that I have all of my pieces cut out, I am going to show you guys how to put the stickers on. I'm going to start with the base first because a lot of people have a hard time. Because my first one, I had a hard time putting it on because of these. I don't know if y'all can see it because my camera looks a little dark. But because of the little, where the waterfall comes out at, the little, uh, I don't want to call them nozzles, holes where the waterfall falls from. I had a hard time with my first one. But then when I did my second one, I said, ha, 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 you could do it this way. So I'm going to put my camera on the fountain so you guys can see how I how it was done. Okay. So what I did was I took my sticker paper and I started peeling the top. Only peeled the top so that I can put it under here and as I'm peeling I laid it down. I laid it down. And it gave it a nice even lay. So I am going to put my sticker paper at the top. It makes it easier to lay the fountain, to lay this part of the fountain because you have, like I said, those nozzles that sticks down and you don't want to mess up your sticker paper. So this is what I did, guys. I put my sticker paper a little just like this. And then I went... And I positioned it where I wanted it to be. I don't know how other people are doing it, but this is the way I did it. And I just positioned it where I wanted it to be. And I just slowly removed the paper, the sticker paper. The backing and I just smoothed it on out and I just smoothed it on out and then I just close the size down and I just this side and I just folded it down. And then the hardest part of the fountain is done. The hardest part of the fountain is done, guys. Now, you see how my sticker paper is over a little bit? Now, I can go down in the width, but I choose not to. Um, it's fine. My sun, my sunset is a little over. My sunrise is a little on the side, but it's fine. It's perfect. It still looks very nice. So now what I am going to do is just take some little scissors that I have and just cut this access paper off. So you can go down in the size if you choose to. I choose not to. Um, I'd rather be over than under. So I just keep it at the size that I uh, created it. I just cut this little... piece of paper off and that's it and there you got a perfect lineup so that's the hard part guys that's how I put mine that's the hard part and the rest is just easy you just basically line it up This camera up a little bit so y'all can get a better view. 
And the rest is just easy. You just basically just line it up and put it on. I pretty much just start from like what I'll do is I'll put a little, put it on and give it a little bend so I know where I want it to line up at, where I want it to fold at. I just pretty much give it a little bend. Give it a little bend. And then I pull the back of the sticker off and I start from one end and I just take my time putting it on because the sticker paper will really stick and you don't want to be trying to pull it back off because you will mess it up. So. Just pull the paper off. Now, when I'm designing this, for my measurements to be in the middle of the base, I just measured the base of the uh, of the frame. And when I, as I design, I try to measure, make sure my measurements are all meeting up so that I can put it in the middle of the frame. So now I just basically. Turn it here. I said, just take your time. Take your time lining it up and putting it on. Then I just turn it. And I just make sure I'm lining it up perfectly. On there, and then I'll turn it to make sure I'm lining this side up perfectly. There you have it. Lay the sticker. It's on, and I just press to make sure it's all the way on. And then you just pretty much do the same thing for the base, guys. I'm sorry, guys. Just pretty much do the same thing for the base. Make sure it's all lined up evenly. Give it a little fold so you can know where your bends are. So when you place your sticker on, you know where you where you want it placed at. Your placement. Mm -hmm. Give it a little bend. Give it a little bend. And just. Do the same thing. I start from the side, I peel. But this one here, because it's such a big sticker, I, I peel as I go along. So I start from the side and I just slide it down. And as I go along, press it. I don't want it to go too much to the top. I think it was starting to go to the top. So I am going to, what I am going to do is here, that's better. That's better. And I'm going to pull the rest of this off. I'm going to make sure this guy is, I'm going to try to lay the top down a little bit first because you have that little Edge there. That's it. Take it out, this guy. That's how you make the customized fountains. Simple. 
Easy. Fix no time. Let me move the camera up a little bit, guys. I'm sorry for moving y'all around so much. It takes no time to make. Simple, easy. It's done. Um, it's nice. Like I said, 35 bucks. Can't beat that. And that's how I put my sticker paper on my fountains. So there you have it. Like, subscribe, comment, share, follow. I'm on Instagram, Rose Creations. I have a private Facebook group, Rose Creation Sublimation Blanks and more. And there you have it. And when I design, I kind of like do the same thing for the base. I kind of measure it so I can have my design in the middle where I want it. And there you have it, guys. This is how I make my fountains. Simple. I didn't watch no tutorials or nothing. I just said, oh, I can do that. And the first one I had a hard time when I made my very first one, I had a hard time getting the paper on because I started from this end and brought it around. But then I was like, no. Lay it down and start from the top and bring it down. Start from the top and bring it down. And there you have it. So like I said, like, subscribe, comment, follow, share. I hope this tutorial was very helpful. It takes nothing to make this. Um, if you do make them, share them with my Facebook uh, group. Um, join my group to learn more um, tutorials. Uh, yeah. And that's it. It's your girl Keish, Elway Rose Creation. I love y'all, and I hope this was helpful.